So here's a really good question. It's what kind of music do I listen to before games? And I love listening to any upbeat kind of music, any type of music, but I love listening to Beyonce and Justin Timberlake. They're my favourites. So this next question is how fired up am I that we're going to be playing at Wembley? I can't stop thinking about it right now. To be honest, every day is like you can't stop thinking about it. It seems a bit, all seems a bit, a little bit surreal, to be honest. But I think playing at Wembley is going to be unbelievable for not only me but all the girls, all our family and friends to come out and enjoy it. So it's going to be an, a memorable day for everybody involved. Can me and Tony Duggan get gunged for charity? Yes, we can. <laughs> at some point, I'm sure Tony would be up for that, and so would I. This next question is: Do you ever see yourself returning to the UK and playing in the WSL? All will be revealed soon. <laughs> so this one is, what helps you get through the unexpected downswings in your career as a pro footballer? I think that's a really good question because kind of in my career, I've had, a, I've had more, I'd say, positives than negatives. But there's also things that can happen off the field, like personal things that can really affect you on the field, which I've experienced within the last kind of um, six months or so. But I think it's important how you kind of come out at the end. And I think for me... Um, I think you just have to keep a positive mentality and I think it's who you surround yourself with too. And I think for me, I've just tried to surround myself with positive people. My mum, my dad have always been there for me no matter what. And I think family and friends can be so important. Some of my questions that have come in have come from some of my teammates in Cyprus. And I've been there playing in the Champions League for the last month. So this one's been sent in by one of my teammates in Cyprus, Hayley Kotmeyer. She said, what's your favourite farm animal? I'd probably say a pig. A pot belly pig. I always wanted a pot belly pig and asked my mum when I was younger if I could have one. And me and my niece really wanted a Shetland pony. <laughs> and my mum, of course, said no. <laughs> have you ever cheered really loud because you thought you'd won a match, but you were actually tired? That's interesting because in Bronby, this is really embarrassing, but we'd scored the away goal. I scored a goal and I thought that that meant we'd gone through, but it was actually 1-1. So the final whistle went, and I'm like, yes! Like, and the coaches are like, no, 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 it's extra time. Because they'd scored, and it was like the away going and counting, that was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing, and I hoped that no one had seen it, but it seems like people had. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. How did I go about getting the chance to play in America? Uh, that's a really good question, because a lot of people ask me these kind of questions, because I've been there now for five years. How do they get uh, college scholarships and things like that? And I was fortunate enough to get drafted in the international draft in 2010. I think by going to America has helped me as a person and as a player. And I think I've grown a lot since I've been there. Being in America allowed me to become more of an individual. Because I think sometimes in England we conform as a nation. Whereas I think in America, that's where I felt more comfortable to get my hair cut and things like that. And I think they embrace an individuality. I love clothes. I love kind of getting dressed up. And I have my own kind of individual style. So I kind of like being different. I'm just me, really. I think it was the best decision I ever made going to America, so that was a great question. Best, best coach I've ever played under. Now I'd say Mark. I mean, I'm not just saying that, but Mark has taught me quite a lot in such a short space of time, and I think Mark's mentality is similar to my mentality when it comes to kind of that care and that thinking about your family and who got you there, and I'm very big on that kind of stuff. So I think Mark is someone that has had a big impact on me in quite a short space of time. Thanks for your questions, everyone. Our time is now. Hopefully see you all on November 23rd.